Hi everybody, happy Saturday. I'm sorry I missed out yesterday. Okay, I'll tell you what I was doing yesterday. Um, I actually may do two videos today just because I missed one yesterday. Um, I got out of work and then I went down to Old Navy and Burlington Coat Factory. I don't know if they have Burlington's in another part of the country, but Burlington Coat Factory is kind of like, um, I guess it's kind of like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx, but I think the quality of Burlington Coat Factory is a little better. And the Burlington Coat Factory by me is not so hard to rummage around. Like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you have to like really search for what you want, and the Burlington by me is just beautiful. Anyway, and um, I wanted to get some clothes. I have I don't own a pair of shorts. Well, I do now. Um, so, I went to Old Navy, I picked out a pair of, sh a couple of pairs of shorts. Um, I don't like the way Old Navy's jean shorts fit me. Um, they are like, weight, they're like loose in my waist and loose in my hips, and then they're like skin tight on my thighs. I look like a, a balloon. <laughs> it's, it's like really ridiculous. But I ended up getting like these green khaki cargo shorts. Um, let me show them to you. So that's what I bought yesterday. Um, my husband met me up there. I don't know if you were in New York yesterday. We had some pretty, pretty crazy, wicked thunderstorms. I was very worried. All you see was like, look like um, tree roots just all across the sky, lightning. So we kind of like got stuck out. We ended up not getting home until 10 o'clock. My poor daughter was hungry and tired. She just wanted to go to bed. And um, my husband was tired. He had kid work early this morning. So I kind of just really was not in the mood to get on camera and record video. Anyway, so. It, Needless to say, yesterday was my boss's birthday. Happy belated birthday, not that she's watching. Um, and we went out to a nice Japanese restaurant. If you're from Brooklyn, it's called Fushimi. It, it, I mean, they have really great food. Um, one of the bosses ordered sushi rolls for everyone. And like I said, I'm, you know, low carbing. Anyway, I ended up try I couldn't help myself. I ended up trying two of the rolls. So, this morning when I woke up, I weighed myself. I was already reprimanding myself because the previous day I'd lost weight, but I'd only lost 0.2 pounds. So when I woke up yesterday, I was 140.2. Anyway, I was like so mad when I woke up this morning. I was like, oh, it's shot to SHIT. And, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to weigh more this morning. So anyway, I do my morning routine of getting onto the scale and weighing myself. And I was very pleasantly surprised to see that I was 139.8 pounds. I've never been, now this is like, as of now, I'm like on my running lowest weight. So any weight that I lose from today even if it's a point of a pound, a tenth of a pound, I'm lighter than I've ever been in my life. Um, I made a big post on my site Low Carb Friends that I go on about how long it's taken me to get here and I've been struggling with my weight my whole life and I'm glad because if it wasn't for that struggle my whole life, I wouldn't be where I am today. And now I can finally look at myself in the mirror and I'm going, wow, the fact that I tried on a jean skirt at Old Navy, I picked up this, I have this bad habit, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I buy, I pick up clothes off the rack that are a size smaller than I think are going to fit me because it's like motivation, like, oh, 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 in two weeks I can come back and buy this and it'll fit, you know? So anyway, I pick up this size six jean skirt. It was so cute. I go in the dressing room, I try it on along with my ballooned 
blue jean, um, jean shorts, and the khakis that I just showed you. And I tried in this jean skirt, this size 6, and it was too big. I was like, holy poo. Um, I was screamed in the dressing room. They must have thought I was nuts. I know my husband thought I was nuts. Because in Old Navy, they have, like, you could, like, co-ed dressing rooms. People can go, like, go in. He wasn't in the dressing room with me, but he was, in, like, sitting on the bench outside. Anyway. But, um, it was a wonderful moment. So, I have, I'm five days down, and I have 13 days to go. Um, I think I want to start tanning soon. Um, my hair looks kind of black in the picture. Like, um, I guess it looks dark brown. The lighting, I mean, I'm, I'm all natural light right now, so. Um, I'm gonna dye my hair black. And then I'm gonna get extensions. Can't wait. I'm gonna look so hot for my birthday. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I really, 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 really want to fit into my skinny jeans, and I don't know how they don't fit. <laughs> um, I tried them on the other day, and I got them off, and I got them zippered halfway, but like I said the other day, I have, like, some serious plumber's crack. Um, but otherwise, I, I, I need to go shopping because I do need more shorts. I need, I mean, like, I have tank tops and shirts galore, but I really need, I mean, like, when you're in New York and you're in this, like, hot, humid, 85 degree weather, who wants to wear heavy ass blue jeans? I mean, I'm a mo mother, I have a three-year-old child, and my husband's not all into, like, me going out in, like, booty shorts, not that I would anyway, but I'm not really looking for anything like that, and it seems like Everywhere I go, the clothes are so distasteful. Like, I don't need a pair of shorts that if I sneeze, my tampon string is going to be hanging out. Like, that's disgusting. Maybe if I was 5 foot 10 and I weighed 110 pounds, you know, but I know I have cottage cheese on my thighs. I know I have a lumpy butt. And, I don't need to be showing that off. And okay. Now I'm gonna get into some ranting. Um, I believe you're confident and you have it, flaunt it. But girls, I was once a size twenty. I've never been a size anything more than that. I my well no, I should I lie. There were times where I I needed to put a little rubber band in my twenties jeans to get them up and stay on like you know like pregnant women do anyway I just want to say you know what on that note right there I'm going to do a part two of this video I'm getting close to the end and I don't want to get cut off in the middle of talking so please go to my next video alrighty love you guys